Question number five. A five millimeter thick copper plate is sealed to a ten millimeter thick aluminum plate, and both have the same cross sectional area of one point five meter square. So the outside outside phase of the copper plate is at hundred degrees Celsius, which while the outside phase of the aluminum plate is sixty degrees Celsius. Knowing that the heat flow is steady and no energy is lost to the surroundings, determine the temperature at the copper aluminum interface and the rate of heat flow through the cross sectional area. Through the cross sectional area. Hmm. Through the cross sectional area of what? Uh, oh, okay. They should have the same. Okay. So now. Uh, let me just try and draw the situation. Lah. Okay, so we have the copper plate here. And then we have the uh, aluminum plate here. Day. Okay lah, dia besar sikit lah. Tak ada cakap dia besar. Oh, yalah. Aluminium is thicker. But not, not really this thick lah sepatutnya. But whatever. Okay, so that is copper. This is your aluminium. Okay. So, given is the temperature outside of copper to be 100 degrees Celsius. Temperature, outside temperature of aluminium is given as 60 degrees Celsius. And we are asked to determine the temperature at this interface here. Okay. So firstly, we are extract the information to temperature. So that we just need to extract the, um, what do we call that? The cross-sectional area. So the cross-sectional area are the same, which is 1.5 meters squared. So the same for copper, the same for aluminium. Okay. So now, when the question mentioned that the flow of heat is at steady state, ataupun dia cakap, uh, macam soalan ni, dia cakap the heat flow is steady je. Maksudnya, what we can do is we can say that the rate of heat transfer between copper and this aluminium plate should be equal. Okay, so when they are equal, barulah kita boleh cari the temperature at the interface okay so always remember that at steady state the uh, the rate of heat flow between these two between two materials uh, should be equal okay so formula de pula negative k copper aluminum eh, aluminum pula what do area l and then this is for copper and then we have negative k aluminum area over L for aluminium. So since the area are the same, we can cancel that. And then now we just have to substitute lah. Okay. So copper punya apa tu? thermal conductivity is given as 400. So negative 400. And then delta T is the temperature at the interface minus temperature of the outside surface of the copper material over the L which is eh so did I tulis ke L oh yeah but L untuk copper is 5 millimeter L untuk aluminium is 10 millimeter okay so that's the length lah. so that is 0 0.005 equal to negative 200 and then outside temperature of aluminium minus the inside. And then this is 0 0.01. This is for aluminium. Okay. So, lepas tu kamu summarize dia, kamu akan dapat 4 T minus 100. Bukan lang summarize, maksud tu kira lah. And then pindah-pindah-pindah. You should get T equal to 92 degree Celsius. Okay, so that is, um, I'm not sure if you have any problem with this calculation, but it should be 
uh, quite straightforward because this is just applying the formula. But if you are confused on what is delta t, uh, if you refer our notes, I have written there that delta t is equal to the... Hmm, okay, so if this is q over tx, q over t untuk material y, the temperature, the delta t untuk x component, eh, sorry, x component plus x material, is the adjoint temperature minus the material x punya temperature. Okay? Ataupun the first material punya outside surface of the material number 1. Okay? And then for this one pula, delta t dia ni, dia akan jadi outside temperature of the second material minus dengan the adjoint material. Okay? So that's why the formula is terbaliklah untuk each one. Okay? Alright, so that is that. And then we look, let's continue to question number, question B. So question B, since they have uh, the same rate of heat flow, you can just choose either one of it. So let's just choose copper. So negative K copper A delta T over L into copper. So this one you will get 9.6 times 10 to the power 5 joule per second. So joule per second maksudnya the rate of heat transfer. Okay, so that is on question number 5.